Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a hot minute since I've had a face-to-face -face -face interaction with the camera. Um, lately, I've been just doing time lapses and uh, drone footage. But it was time, you know, to uh, show my face on the camera and so you guys could see who was doing all these drone footages and time lapses and everything. So I did move from Clarksville, Tennessee to upstate New York. I'm living in uh, Sackett Harbor, New York. Beautiful place, beautiful area. Um, amazing opportunities, can't complain. So today, I'm actually in a beautiful place called Perch River Wildlife Management Area. It's I'm in the wetlands area right now. It rained last night and yesterday, so it's kind of foggy. It looks beautiful, I mean, beautiful. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. This is in, uh, I believe there's water, yeah, Watertown. There's Watertown, New York. Let me show you real quick what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing right now. Look at all that fogginess. This is just, you park here. There's a nice little parking area. You park here and see the birds, but right now it's too early um, to see any birds because if they were out there, you can't see them. It's too foggy. Uh, and then you got that area back there too. Not bad at all. But I just heard something over there. I'm gonna grab my camera in a minute and check what it is. There's there there must be a bird or something out there. I I heard it. Or maybe a dog barking, who knows? Because there there are houses over there in that area. And people do fish and hunt in here, I believe. No 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 no. They don't hunt, they just fish. Yeah, there's something out there. Could be a bunch of geese or something who knows yeah it's kind of tra high traffic area as you can see it's on a main road it's not in a secluded road or anything but uh let me get back in the car so right now i have my my canon r6 with me with the 150 to 500 millimeter lens and it has an adapter also an um um light adapter it's pretty badass and it has a two times tele plus um, converter so I could get a little bit closer to the subject and I love this I love this camera and it's badass uh, it is a mirrorless camera just in case you're wondering and then I also have now this camera is a little bit older this camera is right here as you can see is a EOS 1D uh, mark 2 N this camera came out I think I believe in 2004 or 5 and it still works it's a great camera they used it a lot for sports and for fast action movements uh, I bought I can't remember oh look at this look at this look at this look at this the Amish and buggies Isn't that pretty badass look at that ain't that awesome look at that Wow pretty cool nice look at that <laughs> so as I was saying uh, I bought it from some chick that had it uh, wasn't using it or anything I had to clean it big time it had a lot of dust on the lens it had a lot of dust in the in the sensor so on it I have the 150 millimeter um, Sigma lens it's a macro but for far it's pretty badass it's pretty nice can't complain I also have uh, my uh, drone the air too but i don't use it when it comes to managed areas like this i just have it my old batteries are charged and just in case and i do have this little eyesight my father-in-law gave it to me years ago and i had to store away and look it works wonders now perfect and i use it quite often to be truly honest and i have more lenses in my bag always a cup of coffee mug of coffee sorry i got some seeds i got extra batteries for the gopro obviously i got my phone fully charged and i'm in the van which can get more comfortable than this the only thing i have to say about these places it doesn't have a porta potty but i understand because it's a wildlife uh area they want to keep it nice and clean yeah there are some geese way the hell over there pretty far away um and i understand that so if you want if you have to use the bathroom for any reason you better hold it carry a bottle with you or go to the nearest gas station that's the best you could do 
So I'm gonna take a couple of pictures to see what I find here. If I don't see anything nice or interesting, which everything's beautiful and interesting, don't get me wrong, but I, see, I mean as a wildlife. Um, then I'll search for another location and go there and I'll hit you guys up in a bit, okay? So see you soon, bye. So I came to another area of this reserve. It's beautiful, it's a little bit clear. Um, you can hear the geese way the hell over there. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, I think that's a hawk. It's beautiful, but I don't know what it is. Can't get that far and can't pass these little signs that says restricted area. So I try to keep my ass on this side of the, of the area. There was one perched way over there in that tree over there, but it flew away and I haven't seen one yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my eyesight real quick and check what I see. I don't know if you can hear them or not. The geese, yeah, they're all around there. That's pretty nice. So let me take a couple of pictures. Let me see what I can see and uh, what I can find actually, to be honest, and go from there. And whatever pictures I find, they're nice, they're clear. I'll be posting them on my page, on my Facebook page, Boy Photography, and also on Instagram and on Vero. Those who have Vero, yeah, I have all those. So, check this out. Ooh, nice, beautiful. All right, later. So the areas that I've looked and I came to stop and everything, it's a bus, you know. I can't go inside there or even walk. I will need um, written permission from the state of New York to be able to at least access the road. It says it right here, um, State Wildlife Refuge posted, uh, no trespassing for any purpose whatsoever. But then we got signs over there and when I was on the other side stating that if I wanted access, I will have to write them to get permission, written permission. Um, I wasn't able to see nothing, just the fog and hear the birds. Actually, the geese. Uh, the two hawks that I saw were pretty far away, so I couldn't actually, you know, take a nice, decent picture. Um, but it's a beautiful place to come and visit and see. You know, hopefully, when it's a sunny day, you can see better, or when it's actually um, spring. So I'll think I'll wait until it actually snows to see what I could catch. Actually, capture, sorry, not catch, capture. Um, but yeah, that was my adventure over here with this park. So let's check another park out. Um, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll see. But couldn't capture nothing nice today. It happens, you know. It happens. It's it's just one of those things that um, you wanted to catch something, but you obviously can't see nothing or catch nothing. But yeah. That's it. Stop it right here. Do so, everybody. Have a great day. So, driving down the road, I saw a hawk on one of the branches and I stopped. I put my hazards on, stopped on the side of the road, got my camera, took a couple of pictures of him on it, because I don't know if it's a she or he, but it was on the branch and as I was able to capture it as soon as it's flying away beautiful just beautiful capture it's uh it's raining it's actually drizzling uh it's foggy and it's perfect for those type of pictures because it it sets the mood and i'm shooting with a canon r6 attached to a attached with a 150 to 500 millimeter lens i wish i had a a longer focal length instead of a 500 i had like 600 or 800 that would have been like perfect but then um you know you have to you want a nice picture or you want a focus picture so you have to like decide and this is an ef um lens this is not an rf lens uh it has an attachment from the current canon r6 so i could be able to use my 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 ef lenses and hey so far so good i can't complain so now i'm going to keep on driving to see what i find to my next destination and go from there hey every time you see a bird or or any type of wildlife on the road please do stop put your hazards on and exit your vehicle in a safe manner okay because 
you never know there's a lot of crazy people out there that do not know how to drive and will hit your car or hit you you know because they're paying attention to the phone or they're paying attention to the kids in the back yelling or a conversation that's going on on their um bluetooth on the car so please be aware of all the safety issues all right and please be safe out there let me see what i what else i could capture around the road on my way to my next destination and i'll show you guys okay so you have a good one for now and i'll talk to you later hey everybody boy photographer here uh i've been in search of the ultimate picture for me for me is the ultimate shot it's trying to capture another eagle which i did already maybe a couple of weeks ago and or a snowy owl or any type of owl so i threw the question out there on facebook for people that live in this area and they told me that uh evans road they've seen owls in evans road and eagles and all that so i've been coming here for the last i would say last week i was up and down this road not a lot you know but i was able to go up and down and check the trees go my pace and i haven't seen nothing yet but uh i'm on evans road right now checking going up and down again to see if i see anything if not i'll go to another location uh but it's yeah it's one of my but in my bucket list trying to capture a, a snow owl uh well it hasn't snowed yet he it did snow but it hasn't snowed recently and if it did it was a little bit of flurry so it helps me for the trees being bare no leaves or anything that uh i'm able to ca see if i find a white owl or not but sorry snowy owl i gotta be technical and shit here uh i've seen a lot of deer i've seen black squirrels regular squirrels chipmunks you name it i've seen those and i've seen a couple of hawks here and there but you know those are my that's like my bucket list shot it's the snowy owl and if you're watching this and want to help me on this please let me know where have you seen one and if you have seen one you know it's very important to me for me for me not anybody else just for me uh i live off of sackets harbor new york and if you live in the area please do let me know and 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 let me let this guy pass I hate people behind me when I'm trying to look and go slow. Because these roads, they say 45 and these people go 50. I'm like, wow. Or 55 or 60, you know, and they shoof, fly by by you like nothing. But anyway, uh, but please do let me know if you have seen owls in your area. Send me the location. Write on my email. Uh, send me a text. Doesn't matter. Just or a pin or anything and I'll gladly appreciate it and if I capture that image that shot I will send you a picture of the bird that I took you know if I took a picture of a snowy owl and it was because you guys helped me or whoever helped me I will send you a print okay so I'll gladly appreciate it if you do help me on this and I'll talk to you later so I'm gonna keep on driving focus on the road and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. So it was a bust. Um, didn't find nothing. Didn't see nothing. Uh, I saw a couple of blue jays and that's it. That's the only birds I've seen lately. But uh, it's like everything, you know, maybe they're migrating. They're moving to a more quieter space. You know, owls like their privacy. And something that I learned from another video that I watch on YouTube is that they... You got the tree right here, the trunk of the tree, and you got the branches. They stay right as close as possible to the to the tree um, for protection and disguise too, you know, so they could uh, camouflage themselves with the tree. Pretty cool things that you that you learn, you know. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's another day, so I'm gonna head home. The little man just woke up and. We have a couple of errands to run today. Maybe I'll see something on the road going to running these errands that we got to do. I might see something. So I'm going to take my camera, my gear. And if I do, I'll document it and I'll tell you guys later. And then I'll go home and edit the, those uh, those hawk pictures that I just took earlier. 
and go from there well you guys have a lovely day uh enjoy to the fullest and hey have a great day bye